It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. So you've noticed it too. The president, famous athletes, actors, entertainers, politicians, musicians, everybody throws up a triangle hand sign. And matter of fact, when I made that symbolism video about Joe Rogan, I talked about knowing what the triangle hand sign means. And I read your comments, and a lot of people have no clue what the sign you're looking at on the screen means. So I'm glad you're here, because I'm going to break it down, and I'm going to show you exactly what it means in this video. All I ask is three things. Number one, you share this video with somebody who might find this information valuable. Number two, you hit the thumbs up button if, if I've taught you something here today. And number three, you also watch the second half of this video because it's just as important as the first. Now let's get to it. The triangle hand sign. This is known as an equilateral triangle. Do you know what an equilateral triangle is? It's a triangle composed of three equal sides that are 60 degrees each. Are you familiar with gematria? Well, if you use gematria, you know to always drop the zeros. What's that leave you with? That leaves you with a triangle that represents 666. Six, six. It's also important to note here that that same triangle shows up on the back of our money. 666. Six, six. So now you know why all your favorite celebrities and politicians and actors, you know why they throw up the triangle. They're telling you, they're Luciferian. They worship the fallen angel Lucifer. And they show it to you in all their photos. Almost daily they show it to you. They let you know who their master is. Now let us move on to the second part of this video. The part that I said was equally as important. The Economist Magazine, 1988 edition, the phoenix rising up out of the ashes with a new global currency. You see the date here, 10, 10, October 10th, 2018. Do you remember what happened on October 10th? The Dow went down like 400 or 800 points on that day. That was the sign that their plan is still in effect. And it's also important to note here that 10-10-2018 in Gematria is 11-11. Why? Because remember, you always drop the zeros in Gematria. So 10-10, drop the zero, drop the zero, leaves you with 11. 2018, drop the zero. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 8 is 11. 11, 11. It's also important to note here, synchronicity. They've been predictively programming you for years that 11, 11 is a good thing. If you're seeing 11, 11, uh, angels are communicating with you. Your life is on track. You're right where you should be. But let me bring up an important note. Does anybody remember the movie The Matrix? Do you remember the synchronicity in the movie? They didn't call it 1111, and they didn't call it synchronicity. They called it deja vu. When something happened twice, or when they'd been to that place before, they remember it. Deja vu. 1111, synchronicity. What always happened? The agents attacked. Something bad. You've been programmed that 1111 or deja vu is a good sign. That's predictive programming. It's not. It's not. It's a sign that they might attack. That the agents are near. It's a bad thing. 
They've tricked you again. Now, we're going to come back to 1111 and something huge that is happening, a monument in real life with an 1111 significance. But first, let me draw your attention back to Silver Doctors. The title of the article is, Are We Just Days Away From The Biggest Event In All Of Human History? And I'll leave the link to this in the description so you can go check it out. I want to take you down to almost the bottom of the article because it talks about a fake alien invasion. Now, very important, there's an alien invasion headed towards the U.S. border right now, which might be significant because you know whenever we try to decode there, the ones in control, whenever we try to decode their plans, sometimes we're a little off what their predictive programming means. It's important to note they might not be talking about extraterrestrials. They might be talking about uh, people illegally entering our country. I don't know. It's just something to think about. But look at this part of the article. Remember I did a video about Mars attacks and the fake alien invasion? Here's something that, that this article brings up that is very, very eye-opening. Um, the movie Mars Attacks. Why they released it. Predictive programming. Listen. On December 13th of 2018, Mars Attacks anniversary will take place. Which, by the way, Mars Attacks was released on a Friday the 13th. Very significant. Now, December the 13th, 2018 is exactly 22 years since Mars Attacks has been released. 11-11. Half of 22 is 11-11. Mars attacks might be predictive programming for something that's going to happen on 11-11-2018. Get it? Now, it's also very important to note there's 33 days, and we all know that Masonic symbolic number. There's 33 days between November 11th and December 13th. So maybe something on 11-11 or the 33 days in between 11-11 and December 13th, which is... Uh, the Mars Attacks anniversary date? It's very, very strange, you guys. Very strange. But before I lose your attention, it's very important that you take a look at this symbol, this monument. First, let me tell you what it is. This is the Veterans Memorial in Arizona. And you see how the sun shines through those holes of, of the memorial? It lights up the seal on the ground. Now why is this so significant? It only happens on 11-11. Deja vu, synchronicity, a warning. Remember the movie Matrix? When deja vu happens, the agents are about to attack. Now on 11-11, the sun shines directly through the memorial and lights up the seal on the ground. The seal of the American Eagle. But is it really an eagle? Or is it a phoenix? And I wonder what these stars above it mean. They make the shape of the Star of David. What does that mean? I know what it means. But we're not there yet. We're going to get you guys there. We're going to teach you exactly what's going on in our world. And I don't know the future, but I'm preparing. I've bought 50 pound bags of rice and beans. I've bought a 55 gallon drum for water to preserve it. I'm preparing. I think we're out of time. I think they are gonna crash the economy. And I think it's gonna be worse than the Great Depression. But like I said, I'm not date setting. I don't know the future. But until it happens, I'm going to keep exposing these people for what they are. And I'm going to keep decoding their signs and symbols. And I, I, I highly suggest you share this video everywhere and wake up as many people as possible because we don't know how much time we have left. Thank you. John X Army, signing out from the belly of the beast.